Good morning, guys, and happy Friday Eve. It is Thursday, and today and tomorrow, we are going to be revisiting input-output boxes. I can tell how excited you guys are already. So, I was nice. Today's input-output output boxes are only subtraction and addition. That's it. And super nicely, I put the rule by some of the boxes to kind of ease us into it for tomorrow. So we're not going to multiply and divide anything on this page. We're only going to add and subtract. So the first thing that we are going to do is follow the rule. For box one, it says the rule is to add five. So I put in a seven, I add five, I get 12. 11 plus five is 16. 13 plus 5 is 18. 14 plus 5 is 19. That was that whole box. That's all you have to do for this one. All right, here I'm going to subtract 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. 11 minus 5 is 6. 13 minus 5 is 8. 17 minus 5 is 12. All right, for number 3, my rule is subtract 2. 12 minus 2 is 10, 14 minus 2 is 12, 16 minus 2 is 14, and then don't get too comfortable because look what they did here. It goes 10, 12, 14. You're so tempted. You just want to put that 16. Look at your last number. 17 minus 2 is 15. They went and did something gross just to check if you were paying attention there. All right. Again, we have a subtract 2 rule. Let's take a look at it over here. So we have 6, 11 minus 3, or excuse me, 11 minus 2, 13 minus 2. Bleh, I said the answer. <gasps> Terrible. 13 minus 2 is 11. 14 minus 2 is 12. 17 minus 2 again, 15. Okay, let's look at this one, because remember, we can see these tables both ways. We're going to see them vertically, which is more common, and then we're going to see them stretching horizontally. We need to be comfortable reading them both ways because they're going to be coming forever and ever and ever. All right, my rule is subtract 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. 9 minus 3 is 6. 10 minus 3 is 7. 13 minus 3 is 10. My rule is subtract 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 17 minus 4 is 3, or 13, the number ending in 3. Okay, now we're going to scroll down and we're going to take a look at the next 4. It says Chris and Frank were born on the exact same day, but not in the same year. Their ages are shown in the table below. So when Chris is 10, Frank is 16. I want to find the difference between 10 and 16. So I will take 10 away from 16. So in this box, it went up by 6. It's plus 6. Let's take a look here. When Chris was 21, Frank was 27. I'm going to check it again here too. 27, take away 6. There is a difference of six. Chris is, or excuse me, Frank is six years older than Chris. We are adding six years to Chris's age to get to Frank. Because this is in, the number on top is in, the number on the bottom goes out. It is the input number that determines the rule. We are saying that it is plus 6 because the number on the bottom gets larger. It would be minus 6 if the number on the bottom got smaller. All right, we are going to check it one more time because remember, I always said on an input-output table, if it follows the rule three times, that's the rule. That third time you check, if it's, if it's the same thing, if it's plus 6 again, that's our rule. It's plus 6. If it changes here, then we need to keep going. If there's no change, we stop here. 
So again, between 24 and 30, it goes up by six. So Frank is six years older than Chris. Number seven says, when Chris was 21, how old was Frank? Okay, here's Chris, here's 21, Frank was 27. When Frank was 34, how old was Chris? 34 is not on our chart. I'm gonna add a spot for it just so that I don't lose my train of thought. We found our rule already. Our rule is plus six. So 34 plus six is 40. So Chris would be 40 when Frank is 34. How much older is Frank than Chris? Six. For years, you can put YRS. Six years, YRS. Which choice best explains the rule for this table? Circle one, just one. All right, add six to Chris's age to find Frank's age. I like it, it sounds good. I'm not gonna stop reading. Subtract seven, okay, we know that's wrong automatically. Add six to Frank's age to find Chris's age. I'll take a look at that one again because it's talking about adding six. And then subtract six, no, we're not subtracting. All right, we've eliminated two answers. Now we're gonna look more closely at the two that are left. So we can add six to Chris's age to find Frank's age. Chris's age was the input. Frank's age was the output. This is the correct answer. We're not going to add six to Frank's age to find Chris's age because that would mean Chris was the older one. Frank is older than Chris. If we're adding to Frank's age, then Frank is the younger person and Chris is the older one. And that is not true. All right, guys, we have a class meeting today at 10 o'clock. I hope to see you there.